Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to censor people's face in a video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about censoring people's face and objects in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Sensor. Click OK. Now we will drag our stock footage to our project panel. Now take our footage and place it on our sequence to create a new sequence. Let's play it. Here we have lot of people walking outside this opera house. We will blur someone's face in this crowd to maintain their privacy. I will delete half of our video to edit faster. Here we have this two people walking straight towards the camera. We will censor this person's face. Click over here and select 200% to zoom in on our video. Go to here and click on this new item icon and select adjustment layer. We will use the default settings, click OK. Now go to project panel and click on the adjustment layer. I will name it as sensor. Drag and place our sensor layer on top of our video layer. Extend it to the end. If I play it, as you see nothing happens. Now let's start censoring this person's face. Select the adjustment layer. Go to effects control panel, here we click on this pen tool. Zoom in on our video and start making a mask around his face. join it. Now we created a mask over his face. By using the mask, we can apply our effects only on the masked part, leaving the rest of the video alone. Here we have our mask feather as 10. You can use the mask expansion to expand our mask path. By clicking the invert checkbox, our mask will focus what's outside of its space. We will leave it for now. Go to effects panel and type in Gaussian blur. Take the blur and place it on our adjustment layer. Go to effects control. Here in the Gaussian blur, increase the blurriness. Now we censored this person's face. You can soften the edges of the blurriness by adjusting the mask feather. Now that looks good. Here you can change the blur direction by changing the vertical and horizontal. I will show you other two blur effects that are widely used in documentaries and interrogations. Delete this by clicking backspace on your keyboard. In the effects panel type in fast. Take the fast blur and place it on our adjustment layer. As you see fast blur is same as the Gaussian blur but it has that motion effect to it. We will delete this effect. Again go to effects panel and type in mosaic. Take the mosaic effect and place it on our adjustment layer. This effect is used in almost all the documentaries and major television. In the effects control, go to mosaic. Here we have that blur mosaic effect. We will increase the block to make it look more watchable. Increase both the vertical and horizontal blocks. Now we have the perfect mosaic effect. If you increase the blocks you can see the person's face to some extent. Be sure to increase it with more conscious. 
Now that looks good. You can click on the sharp colors to make the mosaic use that person's skin tone. We will now animate our mask blur, so it can keep following that person's face. Place the indicator where you want to your sensor to begin, keyframe the mask path. Click on this, track selected mask forward. This will track that person's face throughout the video and follows it along. Let's play it and see. Now our mask is following this person's face. As you see that our mask disappeared right after this woman crossed. If you look it closely, you can see that our mask started following this woman after her face blocked this person's face. This kind of mistracking happens. To eliminate that go to right where this woman crossing. In the effects control panel select and delete this right side keyframes. Zoom in closer and delete this two keyframes. Use the arrow key on your keyboard to move the indicator one frame at a time. Now select the mask and place it on this person's face. Again click on the right arrow key and again align the mask on his face. Keep doing it until this person crosses. Now that this lady is crossed and this person's face is completely visible. Again click on the forward track to continue its face tracking. Now let's play it and see how it looks. You can see that our mask stayed still, even if a person crossed in front of it. That looks super good. We now know how to censor people's face and how to track it. You can adjust the mask any time you want. Increase the mask expansion to blur that person's surroundings. You can decrease the opacity if you like. If your fast tracking is not working on your computer, you can always try the manual type. Click on this forward icon to move one frame and align the mask. This process will take a lot of time and work to finish, but the result will be the same. You can censor this person too. Just hold out and drag this layer above to duplicate. Go to effects control and uncheck the mask path. Select the mask and place it on this person's face. And just like that we censored this person. Again go to mask path and keyframe it. Click on the fast forward icon to track his face. Let's play it. You can see that our mask being drawn to the left. We can always adjust it manually. That looks better. You can blur as many people as you want. Just duplicate the mask layer. Uncheck the mask path. Place the mask on this lady's face and keyframe the mask path. Click on the track forward to track her face. We now know how to blur people's face. This technique will also apply to all the objects. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. 
We are finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.